Hello, Falcons. This is your English teacher, Mr. Arenas. I wanted to take a few minutes to quickly show you how to log into your Microsoft Office account using your student email. I know a lot of you already know how to do this. However, as we go online for the first nine weeks of school, I think it's very important that you know which resources and applications you have available to you for free as a Carl Hayden student. My first suggestion is to go to the Google Chrome browser. This browser I find works really well with Microsoft Office. My Google Chrome browser takes me directly to our new district homepage. If yours does not, all you need to do is type pxu.org in the bar at the top and you'll be taken to our new web page. From here, I'd like you to go to info for, you're gonna click students, and you're gonna be looking for a tab called student email. Once you find it, you're gonna click student email and you're gonna be taken to a new page that asks you to enter your student email address. This is your email address that ends in student.phoenixunion.org. If you've forgotten this email address, I, as your teacher, have access to it and can provide that for you. For now, I'm gonna use my Phoenix Union email address and my own password to log in. Your password is your 1PU password. Again, I have access to that password and will be able to provide that to you if you have forgotten. So I'm gonna to continue to sign in and you'll be taken directly to the Microsoft Office platform. Here you have all the apps that you can utilize for assignments and projects. You have Outlook, which is your email address. So if you click on Outlook, you will see that you will probably have messages in your inbox as I do. This is your email where you can scroll and teachers can deliver you direct emails. You also have Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, which are two applications that you'll probably be using a lot in um, your first nine weeks of school. You also have what's called OneDrive. OneDrive is your online digital storage space. You can see I have lots of different folders in my own personal OneDrive. You can create folders and upload files here so that you can access them anywhere from any computer as long as you know how to log into your Microsoft Office account. One very nice thing about using Microsoft Office is that anytime you open a new application, it automatically saves in your OneDrive. So if I were to create a new PowerPoint, I were just to create a blank presentation and I were to just title it, Mr. Arenas is cool. I can then go to the very top I can save it as Mr. Arenas, I can title it. And if I click out of this, you will automatically see it in your OneDrive account. So if I could do something cool like that, and then I just click out of it, you will see if I go back to the waffle, which is this little dot thing right here, you click the waffle and you wanna go to your OneDrive to see where that PowerPoint saved, you will see that the PowerPoint that I just opened is saved right here. Now, it didn't quite save the title that I wanted it to, but if I open it up, you can see that the work that I just did is already there. Now, I can go back and I can move this to different folders if I wanted to. I can drag it. I can share it with other people. So that's a really good resource and a really good tool to use as you are navigating through Office 365. Um, you can also access Microsoft Teams from your homepage in 365. Uh, if I click this, it will probably ask me if I want to download the app version, but here is Microsoft Team as well. Now, if you borrowed a school computer, uh, the app should be already on the computer, so you wouldn't even have to log in. So if I were to click out of the online version, you should be able to look on your desktop and find the Teams icon and click the Teams icon and you should be logged in and ready to go. 
I will do another video on Microsoft Teams, but for now, hopefully you understand how to log in to Microsoft Office.